Hello everyone, I am Ega. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Ega Learning Curve. Today we are going to discuss about Fibonacci numbers as part of the part 2. Already we posted part 1 video. So both the videos are in the Fibonacci sequence. Let's get into the video, we will discuss further on that. We were discussed about Fibonacci number, Fibonacci spiral, golden ratio and golden angle. In my part 1 video, I will give the link in the description box. Just a recap of part 1 video here. You may wondering why we are using the Fibonacci number in Agile story estimation. Let's try to understand what does mean an Agile story estimation first. An Agile story estimation refers to a way of quantifying the effort needed to complete a development and testing task. From my experience as I worked in multiple Agile teams, most of the teams use story point as a unit to score their task. Say example after 2 or 3 sprint, they will come to know the velocity of the sprint team. Usually it will be like 60 to 80 points. Okay, the Fibonacci sequence is one particular scoring scale for estimating the agile story points. In this sequence, each number is the sum of the previous two in the series. The Fibonacci numbers are 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34 and so on. I would say 5 different factors on why Fibonacci numbers are used in the agile estimation. Let's discuss one by one integers the goal of estimating the numbers in agile is a high level estimation there is no need of any decimal points like 2.7 or 3.8 integers or whole numbers that's all needed here fibonacci sequence forces your team to make a choice either more or less when faced a large task it may be a 13 point story or 21 point story there is no number in between this helps your team to group and differentiate the size of the task. It is an exponential sequence, provide detail to a smaller task like 1 point, 2 point and 3 point stories which are simple to estimate but starts to provide less detail for the medium level task like 5 point or 8 point. Even less detail for the large task 13 or 21 points. It is a non-linear nature and reduce the over analysis. Just imagine your scrum master and everyone in your team agreed to use a even number system instead of Fibonacci numbers like 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, maybe up to 20. 2 is the smaller story point and 20 is the larger story point with respect to complexity. After the recommend discussion, the individual will do the estimations then could you all agree to assign the point maybe 10 points okay then it will be like a minute of silent then somebody will say like how about 12 or another will say like how about 14 since those two points are very near to 10 points right so that is the main reason we are using the fibonacci numbers say example in our case suppose you are estimating like 8 point story no one will think like it may be a 5 point or um, a 13 point because we are in 8 we don't have any number in between so that is the main advantage use the fibonacci series yeah it is not exactly a concrete reason that the fibonacci sequence is a better scale to use than others but the word fibonacci does sound cool and can help with adoption and buy into i have written a python program to generate the first n terms of Fibonacci sequence. I will add this program into the description box so that you can play around it. Let's run for 200 terms now where you can see the first 200 terms of the Fibonacci sequence. Even you can run this program for 1000 or 10,000 where you will find the very big number at the end. I hope this video very informative for you. If you have any questions, let's discuss in the comment section. Thank you. If you like this video, please do subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you. Bye-bye.